When adding accessories to an image, there are two main ways to do this. One, there is masking, where you stamp the accessory, mask the accessory off and then stamp the animal. And then there's number two, where you stamp the accessories onto a piece of card, cut, cut colour them and stick them on. For a one layer card it's best to use the masking technique. To do this you need to know where your images are going to be. You need to first place, it's easy if you first place your stamp and know exactly where on that card you want that stamp to be. You need to make a rough estimate because you will need to be adding the accessories to the image first. You can add more than one accessory to the same area, as in the hair and the hat. But you, as the hat is on top, when you place them down, you would need to stamp the hat first, then the hair, and then the hippo. Okay? So I will show you how to do this. You need some sticky notes, and we are going to stamp the hat image and also the hair image onto the sticky part of the sticky notes. I'm just going to line up the images along the sticky strip, attach them to my block, ink them up and stamp. When creating masks it doesn't really matter if you do not create a full perfect image as this is just a throwaway item that you will be able to use again if you'd like otherwise you just get rid of it. So, as when I create masks, I like to create a couple at once. I have taken three sheets of the sticky notes and I will also, as a top tip, is I just fold over the end piece so I'm not touching the sticky bit of the sticky note. Then I'm going to cut round my images. Okay, now I've created my masks. What I need to do is I need to re-evaluate where I'm putting my hippo. Now it's time for a bit of a guessing game. You need to place where you want your hippo and figure out where you're going to stamp. Remove the hippo stamp and place down the inked hat. Now we're going to add the mask that we've just created using the sticky note. I'm going to place this over the corresponding image onto your card. Now we're going to do the same again. I'm going to add the hippo, ink up the hair piece, and There we go. Stamp the hair down. Now what we need to do is we need to cover the hair over with the mask. Take one of those. Add that to the top of the corresponding image. Ink up your hippo. I have to say, these stamps stamp perfectly. They're great quality. So we're going to stamp that down. Remove the two masks. And now you can see, your hippo also has hair and a hat. Very, very sweet. There are accessories that break the masking versus fussy cutting rule. These are the solid images, and as in the moustache, this bow here, and these glasses. These can be stamped over your image, directly over. You don't need to cut them out or mask them off in any way. These are because they are solid, so they will just stamp over any lines that are there. So if you would like to add the glasses, you could just add that as an afterthought afterwards and just stamp them on. And that is how we mask off an image to add accessories.
My preferred method when adding accessories to animals is to fussy cut the accessories out and then add them to the stamped image of the character. To do this you just take a piece of stamping card, ink up all of the accessories and stamp them. I then go ahead and then I colour in all of the accessories and fussy cut them out. Doing this way it means that I can play around with the image with different images on it before I settle on how I'm going to have it. It leaves more room for playing. So stamp your image. Then you're going to want to colour this image in. For my hippo I'm using C5, C3 and C1. I'm just going to do a quick simple Copic colouring where I flick in from the most shaded area. So the bottom of his snout will be shaded, underneath his head will be shaded, his back leg, the sides of his back leg, under his tummy, so I'm going to flick up quite a a lot from there. This leg is going to be particularly shaded and this one and then just around his back side. Oh, under his ears. Then I'm going to go in with my medium colour which is the C3 and I'm going to just flick up doing larger flicks than I did for the C5 and I'm just going to go over all the places where I've gone with C5 but I'm going to go further into the image this is just a simple quick and easy way to colour with Copics you will we'll get shading but it's probably not perfect shading of where it would be on a real life image and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over my whole image with the C1 and that will blend in stamped, coloured and fussy cut out of all of the I have stamped, coloured and fussy cut out all of the accessories except the solids as we talked, as the solid images and this means that you can have more of a play with your card you could, you know, it, you can check exactly where you're going to place your images before you actually do this with the masking technique this you can't really have a play with it before you stamp it you stamp it and that's how it's going to have to be so you can really go to town with playing with these and how you want them to look once you know how you want your images to be all you need to do is take a small amount of glue and attach them to your image as I said with the masking technique these solid images do not need to be stamped onto the image um, until you've finished colouring and sticking down. As regards to the two techniques, the one that you use will be down to personal preference. Also what kind of look you are going for for that particular card. The masking technique allows you to create a perfectly flat card with no bumpy edges, it's all flat apart from the little eyes that I've popped on. The fussy cussing technique allows for a bit more wiggle room, a bit more play time. You do not need to stamp your accessories first and then the character. You can stamp the character and then decide what accessories are going on it. The masking technique I feel needs a bit more forward planning than the second fussy cutting technique.